Thank you for tuning in to The Coaching Lounge. This is a space where you are invited to experience dialogue, conversation and coaching with myself and the wonderful guests that I invite into the shared space of The Coaching Lounge. And the idea um, of um, setting up this intentional space is to support people through managing the challenges of life um, and just to hearing uh, some information on various topics, hearing more about those topics in depth and receiving coaching in the form of dialogue, conversation, some shared tools and strategies that my guests and myself um, that we share with you um, in the coaching lounge space. Now, um, if you've tuned in before, you will know that um, I'm a life coach. My name is Rebecca Gordon and I'm the lead coach and trainer at Satellite Life Coaching and Training. And as a coach, a qualified coach for just over five years now, who's notched up over 700 coaching hours and has worked with over 400 coaching clients, it is that I've coached people on numerous things. And the theme um, for the transition, for, for the coaching that we actually take place is just that. It's transition, it's change. So people come to me because they want to shift. They want something to shift about their life. And it could be a shift in um, the finances. It could be a shift in their um, social interactions with others. It could be a shift in their career or in a relationship or wanting to shift into a relationship. So it's about finding strategies, finding solutions to maneuver through life um, and create the change that is desired that will help the client to feel you know, more satisfaction, more life satisfaction, more fulfillment and more in ease and at ease within themselves. So today in the space of the coaching lounge, I would like to work with you on a one to one setting um, for you to experience a coaching tool that is designed to help you develop the skills that are required to maneuver through change. And we're going to do that in the form of a tool which is called instant transformation. And we're only going to spend 20, perhaps 30 minutes working together on this tool right now. It's important to say that my coaching sessions are 60 minutes long. Um, sometimes they're slightly over that because you cannot just stop at the time. So 60 to 75 minutes um, is a normal coaching session and um, the time that you can spend with me on an intimate, personal, one-to-one -one basis. If you want to explore in much more depth anything that transpires as a result of this coaching session with me today in the coaching lounge. Now, before we start working on um, this tool, which is called Instant Transformation, I want you to set an intention. Now, you might know what you want to change in your life or you might not know. You know, you might feel that there's something niggling at you that just won't go away, that needs some, some looking at, some exploration. But before we even go there, I would like you to set the intention in the form of an affirmation. I call it my daily mantra. And it is this. Life is perfect. The universe is always on time. Life is perfect. The universe is always on time. So repeat that statement. Life is perfect. The universe is always on time. And really Feel the feeling that life is perfect. The universe is always on time. And know that tuning in today by capturing this coaching session, however you've come about it, whether you've received an email or someone sent you the link or you've just stumbled on it by accident, know that life is perfect 
and the universe is always on time. This session is for you today. Grab a pen and a notebook and let's get started. Is there something you need to stop or start doing but find yourself struggling to make that change? In this instant transformation coaching session, you're going to get clear on exactly how to turn inaction into action. You're going to get clear on what to do to move into the desired state that you know you want to be in. Okay, so are you ready? Now, just to say that the coaching is where I ask insightful questions. I'm sitting in the space of being a non-directive coach, fully non-directive, which means that I support you to discover the answers within by asking the questions that you answer. Okay. So the first question is this, what's the one thing in your life that if this was instantly improved, would make you feel so much better. What's that one thing that if you worked on right now would change everything about your life for the good? Now, don't overanalyze at this point. I don't want you to spend minutes upon minutes thinking about "Mm, just what can that be? I really want you to just work with what comes to you. You know, just click the finger. Ah, This is what I'm feeling right now. So just think of something right now that makes you feel unsettled, that might stop you from going to sleep straight away at night, that niggles at you time and time again. It just keeps resurfacing and won't go away. And just start writing this in the form of a statement, which is the area of my life that I would like to improve is... Just pause right now and get this down on paper. Great. Now, let's just think big for a moment. Think about how different, how wonderful, how great your life would be if you experienced this transformation. Because life can only get better. You know, I mean, the saying is, If we are aware that something needs to change, well, actually, we need to do what we need to do. But sometimes we don't know what we need to do. So what we are going to do is actually, I may not know what I need to do right now, but there is something I'm pretty sure of. My life would be so much better if I experienced this transformation. So therefore, I want you to think about what makes it so important to make a shift in this area of your life right now. What tells you that something needs to change about this? So pause the recording and make some notes. What needs to change and what makes it important for me to make a shift in this area of my life at this moment? Great. So consider this. What for sure will not change if I don't do something about this right now? What's going to remain the same in my life? What thing that I'm not really too happy about is going to be constant, you know, in my situation if I don't do something right now? And it's important just to state here that if we decide not to change, if we decide not to do something that's necessary to do, we we will remain in the same situation. And what we're doing is putting ourselves up to be in a risk state. So there is actually risk in remaining in the same situation. We're risking our potential. 
We're risking a new life, experiencing a new life path. We're risking, you know, um, meeting new people, new wonderful people that might come into our lives only if there was a little shift that took place at this moment. So take some time to reflect on this question. What am I risking if the situation doesn't change and it remains the same? And then pause this audio recording and note down your thoughts. Excellent. Okay. So you've got some um, pointers written down here. And at this moment, I just want you to know that everything is okay. Everything is just as it is. Everything is perfect. The universe is always on time. And you're doing really well. You're doing so well. Because what you've done right now is identified and labeled the change state so that you can stand outside of it and work on it objectively to make that shift. Now, in um, an intimate one-to-one personal coaching session with me, we probably explore that a little bit. You know, how are you feeling right now? Because you've identified, you've labelled, you've actually got it out of your system by putting it down out there. So you can stand back and do some work right now. And I can imagine that's a great feeling, right? Excellent. So now I want you to consider if this change had already happened, my life would be different because. So you're going to envisage now and put yourself into the feeling, into the sensing of whatever you want to be exactly or just the ideal the ideal way that you would desire it to be so if this transformation had already happened my life would be different because and please describe the experience and results that you would be having by writing these down just write a a descriptive piece you know you can um, go so far as imagining what you'd be wearing, who you'd be speaking to, you know, how you would look, how you'd be blossoming and glowing and, you know, where you would be and how, you know, your life would be progressing. Just really put some life into that picture and sense everything about it and just describe the experience and the outcomes that would be manifested because the change has occurred. Excellent. And now we're going to do some work on this imagined scenario, this imagined situation. I want you to think about the change, the great life, the great results that are happening because of the change. And write down one thing that you would have said no to that was a catalyst for the change taking place what's the one thing that you would have said no to that resulted was a catalyst for the change taking place so let me give you an example from my own work on this so in order for my change to take place i said no to time stealers So as you reflect on this question, it could be saying no to people. It could be saying no to particular experiences that are in your life at the moment. It could be saying no to a particular attitude, um, either someone else's or your own. Or it could be saying no to how you're feeling because of um, what's, you know, what you're currently experiencing. So for the purpose of this session today, just write one thing that you would have said no to. In a one-to-one session with me, going fully into this tool, we'd actually do a full exploration. 
Now we're going to switch and reflect back on the ideal scenario, the life that you're living with the transformation already occurring, already happening in your life. In this imagined situation, what one thing did you say yes to that resulted in that change taking place? And again, from my own um, work on this, I said yes to believing in my ability, to believing I can do this. So your yes could be a tangible or non-tangible thing. It could be tangible in the form of saying yes to taking up an opportunity and experience, yes to, um, you know, engaging or meeting with someone or something abstract and intangible. It could be yes to embracing a positive, um, you know, forward thinking mindset or attitude or saying yes to working with your intuition and really honoring what your intuition is telling you. So I want you to just write down one thing that you said yes to that would have resulted in the picture um, that you envisaged or the, the, the feeling that you felt with the change being the way that you wanted it to be and giving you the results that you desire. Great. Okay. So with that identification of two clear categories um, of a movement away from what you don't want right now and a movement towards what's liberating, what's going to free you up from this niggling, um, you know, feeling from this, this thought, this real life situation that's happening for you right now. You're, you're, you've actually put yourself in the position of knowing what you need to do from either the saying no or from saying yes. And there's more work to be done. And we're going to touch on this very briefly in this um, instant transformation tool. Um, in the coaching lounge that I will invite you to fully explore when you work with me in a one-to-one -one coaching session. We're going to work um, with the information that we've raised awareness on right now and to do that I'm going to ask you to use an entire page in your notebook and divide that page into two columns. On the top left hand side I would like you to write the title no and on the top right hand side I would like you to write the title yes and reflect on the um, answers you gave in the previous um, exercise the previous two questions and think about what prompted those responses so let me just give you an example I said no to the time stealers, okay, and saying no to time stealers will give me the results that I want, more productivity. And the reason why I said no to time stealers is because A, I have too many incomplete tasks, B, I'm finding that as soon as I am taken off task, that it's really hard to refocus and just get back into the flow of my work. So at this point in the no column, I want you to just write one, possibly two reasons, you know, reasons why you would have said no in order to create your ideal reality. What was the no that prompted you to be aware that if I say no to this, I'm going to make the change 
and give reasons for the declarative statement you've made, the no statement. Similarly, on the right hand side of that um, of your columns there, on the right hand column, I'd like you to think about the declarative statement you made, which was the yes. The saying yes in this instance was directly helpful for me to move into um, the transformation, transforming my life. And underneath that yes statement, in that yes column, I want you to give a reason why you said yes, why this particular statement was the yes statement. And again, let me give you an example from my own um, working on this task. I said, yes, I believe in my ability. And the reason that I said yes, and I know that this yes statement is going to help me to change, is because I have evidence that I've done this before. When I've said yes to believing that I can do this, that I'm fully able to do this, I've taken action to create boundaries with my time. So I've done this before, I've created boundaries with my time and this has enabled me to change the situation. So what you've done right now is that you have identified the motivating factors for the change that you want to make. You've identified the reasons why it's important and what's going to encourage you to move into transforming the particular um, situation that you've identified. And just to do a check on this, let's just um, give ourselves a measure of where we are at with the um, no and yes, yes statements. So for each of the statements you've written down, where one does not support your movement towards change and 10 is this highly supports my movement towards change i just want you to write a number between 1 and 10 just to fit yourself in on a scale to see where you are at right now in um, making this thing the motivating thing for you right now in this particular label of change you've identified. Okay, so anything that um, you've given um, a rating for, um, if it's six or over, this is moving into a high motivating factor for your transformation. And this thing is important to be met for you. If it doesn't happen to be um, six or over, that's perfectly okay. Um, what it tells us there is that in order to move a notch up to, f to say if it's three and you want to make it a notch to four or a notch up to five, then we nearly need, really need to look at ramping up um, some movement by working much more deeply within a, a fuller coaching session to raise up what's great about where you're at, at right now. However, what distance do you want to travel and what's going to happen to in the notch to get you to the next stage? So looking at your no and yes columns, You've identified your motivating factors, the appropriate motivating factors. OK, so you say my example was, OK, I have the ability. I can do this. OK, and the other side of the scale was if I don't do this, then if I don't say no, then I'm actually going to have too many incomplete tasks. So therefore, by saying no, I'm going to minimize 
the amount of incomplete tasks that I have to do. So that no is important and this is the reason why. Okay, so you've got yourself some motivating factors. And the next thing to do is to create some actions that arise from the motivating factors. Now, this is where great um, creative thinking is, is necessary. And working fully one-on-one -on -one with a coach who, um, you know, has good rapport with you and who, you know, you can work with within a fuller context relating to your particular situation. This is where we raise up some wonderful, limitless, um, exciting and energizing options. So at this stage, I will encourage you to email me on info at satellitelifecoaching.com for us to delve a little bit deeper into exploring some great options that you can turn one or two actions um, into for, from these options. But just for the purpose of this um, instant transformation tool in the coaching lounge session here today, I am going to ask you to reflect on this question for each motivating factor. So the question is, what is the action arising from this motivating factor, from this thing that's going to motivate me to change? So, for example, I've said to myself that, OK, um, I've said no to time stealers. The reason I've said no is because I have too many incomplete tasks. And an action for me resulting from this is that I'm going to switch my mobile phone off and I can also dedicate blocks of time to work within. So I can work with a tw I work on a, on a task um, in a 20 or 30 minute solid block of time and I can tell people that this is my uninterrupted time. I can even go so far as to put a label uh, on my office door, you know, a sign on my office door or um, tell people in the office, you know, whenever you see this um, red card on my desk, this is non-interrupted time that I need right now so that I can work on these tasks um, to complete them to fully complete these tasks and then devote time to us having a conversation or to replying to that email. Okay. And on the other side of the coin, on the yes, um, what's the how of saying to myself, well, actually, I've said yes, I believe that I can do this because the reason for this is because I've done this before. There's enough evidence to tell me that I can do this. I've done it before. So what's an action there? An action there could be to recall the specific steps that I did on the previous occasion, you know, to really um, identify what these were and just to recreate that or to know the particular thing that I did before that make a diff that made a difference. So say, for example, it could be that I negotiated time with my manager um, where I've said to my manager, actually, um, I want to really focus on doing these tasks. Um, I know what I'm going to do to minimize interruptions, but what I need from you um, and I know that you can support me with this is that I just need to negotiate another hour, another day, you know, another few days so that I can actually um, do this to the best of my ability and present the results to you. So therefore, um, there's enough evidence to know that I can do this. I believe in myself. I believe in my skills as a negotiator. And that's what I'm going to do. So I think you get the picture there. And as I've mentioned, it's really important for you to go through this tool much more fully on a one to one basis. Um, if you might be struggling a little bit, a little bit with the um, context of the situations or if you require if there's something 
that's very particular about your particular um, situation right now. And schedule a date in your diary to give me a call. You can call me on 0121-411-9500 or you can email me on info at satellitelifecoaching.com. Now, what I'd like you to do, I'm asking you to schedule a time because I want you to actually test out this tool, first of all, and then to give me some feedback or book in your personal one-to-one devoted time with me so that we can take this to the next stage. Because as we've said, we've established life is about change. Life is evolving. It's about learning. It's about growing. It's about adapting. It's about moving. And the movement through change requires us to receive and to accept and to embrace support from time to time. So I would really love to help you to capture the specific um, awareness that's raised and to delve a bit deeper into further specific actions that can help you to build upon the ideas that you've generated today. Thank you for staying with me, for, for sharing this time with me in the coaching lounge. And I'd just like to leave you with a quote from Brian Tracy who's a motivational personal development um, manager, trainer, um, guru. And Brian, Brian Tracy says, the act of taking the first step is what separates the winners from the losers. I'm looking forward to connecting with you today. Thank you for taking the time to complete this tool and email me and let's just move further through the state of change so that you can really take yourself into the stretch zone and experience the life that you desire. Usually, we struggle through life alone with outdated beliefs and self-sabotaging actions that bring the same results. How different would it be if you had a personal success coach who helped you make the shift and create a plan for happiness? You will fearlessly align your values, achieve important goals, and reframe your perspective when you have coaching with me. Email Rebecca at info at satellitelifecoaching.com. Book your free discovery session and change your life.